Hi, Andrew Little John Johnson here with Little John Law, here to talk to you about how South Carolina drunk driving car wrecks are a little bit different than regular car wrecks. Uh, there's two main ways that DUI car wrecks are different. The first is something that South Carolina calls third party liability. And there's a couple of different ways you can get to third party liability, but the ultimate concept is that somebody other than just the driver is at fault. One way is something that is called negligent entrustment, and it's exactly what it sounds like. Somebody negligently entrusted their vehicle to another person. Whether the driver is a known drunk or is known to drive drunk, or whether um, somebody at a friend's party gave their keys to the drunkest person there, that could be negligent entrustment. The second way is something that most people have heard about, and that's called dram shop liability and this is the concept that a bar, restaurant, hotel, lounge, arena has a duty not to overserve another person. So if they notice or they should notice that someone's intoxicated and they again give them alcohol, um, they very well may be liable or their company may be liable for any tort down the road, literally and figuratively, that that driver gets into or commits. Um, in terms of a plaintiff's case and third-party liability, it's important. If there is third-party li liability, we want to uncover it, and there's two reasons for that. The first is that if someone's at fault, they need to be held accountable. The second reason is for our client. If there is an additional person out there that could either increase the chance of recovery for our client or help make them whole because there's another pocket, then we want to uncover that person. Now, the second main way in South Carolina that a drunk driving car wreck is different than just a regular car wreck is the punitive value. Now, a lot of regular car wrecks have punitive exposure, and punitive damages is essentially a damage that is meant to deter the same wrongful conduct by punishing that at-fault driver. And with drunk driving, that is an inherently reckless act. So you're immediately looking at punitive damages. When you involve some type of third-party liability as well, you also get potentially more punitive exposure. There's many ways to expand recovery in a drunk driving wreck case. Um, and at our firm, we explore all those avenues. If you were injured in a drunk driving wreck first, I'm sorry you're in that situation. I'm hoping you're getting treatment and hope you get better. But if you have questions, feel free to reach out. Give me a call, shoot me an email. We're here to talk and I'm looking forward to meeting you.